We just used foils to give this door hanger a realistic background, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. We have been looking for an easy way to make pattern backers forever. We've tried all <laughs> kinds of things. We've tried pattern rollers. We've tried all kinds of squeegee type things. Mm -hmm. We've tried DTF. Mm -hmm. We've tried sublimation. Mm -hmm. We've yeah. tried decoupage. <laughs> yeah. We've tried everything to get a good <laughs> pattern backer. And nothing is really Fit they yet. they all will work. Every yes. technique we've shown does work, but none of them are as easy as I want them to be. So we have a new one to try. We're doing pattern foil today. These thin little foils, they make me nervous. Yeah, he's scared to death of this little thin sheet here. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to rip it. Now, I have never used pattern foils, but we've talked about it. If you've been following us for a while, you have probably heard us talking about a preparation for a foil video, these pattern foils. So we purchased our little kit here from Artistic Painting Studio. We have a link down below. You can follow our little link down below and check out all the pattern foils that they have. She also has some pattern rollers. There's lots of fun stuff out there. I'm really excited to give this a try. So today we're gonna do it on our bread and butter. We're doing it on a 16 inch door hanger. And another thing that you've been asking for is a Highland cow. It's taken me forever to get a Highland cow out here. <laughs> I needed to get the Highland cow, so I, I think I did it. Right, we might be the only designers out there that don't have a Highland cow yet. <laughs> We've tried, but they were either too angry or they were too cutesy. Or too so realistic. I actually or, have yeah. three or four in the works one that's happy, one that's angry. This one's got a pretty neutral one face. One that's sneezy. No, but you know, it just depends on what the sign's gonna say. So today he's got a neutral face and we've got a fun new sign. So not only are we gonna get to try the foils, we'll get to try them on a brand new kit. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some quarter inch MDF. This is gonna be for our kit. We'll have the SVG available also. We're gonna use our artistic painting studio foil kit here. We have foils, we have a final coat, we have an adhesive, we have an applicator pad. And he's still picking up the foils. <laughs> We're also gonna paint our kit with some of our Foxy Hues outdoor acrylic paint. This is gonna allow us to paint our kit and be able to hang it out on that front door and it's gonna be perfectly fine with a little bit of heat, a little bit of cold, a little bit of wet. It's gonna be great. And that is it. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna take the quarter inch MDF over to the Eon Nova 14 and we're gonna cut out our design. If you don't have your own laser and you still wanna paint this kit, don't worry, we will have the kit available in our store at kngmakeit.com. You'll just search for the file name. Hi, just search Highland Cow and you're gonna find it. I'll put the link down below. Step three, and now we paint. We have all of our little pieces. They're still in the frame, so we're just gonna pop them out, sort them by color, paint them with the Foxy Hughes paint using some foam rollers. And we'll be using, well, am I gonna share as we go along? Shall I share? Or are we gonna fast forward this whole painting? We're gonna get to the meat of it. So we'll fast forward. She'll pop up all the colors on the screen. Okay, deal.
Step four, time for some foil. Now we're gonna apply the foil to this backer here. No, we're gonna apply this. the adhesive. Oh, we're gonna apply the adhesive first. Yes. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is apply this foil adhesive. So it looks a little like Elmer's glue, but it dries tacky, so it doesn't dry all the way. I'm gonna start this thing. It's going to dry a little bit tacky. It's still gonna look shiny, but you're gonna have to, here's the, here's the tough part here. You have to wait an hour. You have to wait till one I have to the two hours. Going. Yeah. Until what? You have to wait for me to get this camera going. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'm going to use, this is my first time. I am not a pro by any means. I'm going to use this foam brush to apply my adhesive. Uh, I have done a little research and reading about the foils and if you leave any kind of like ridges in it, like if I left this like this is right this second. Oh yeah. Then it will leave the ridges, the ridges will be there. So, so the trick to getting all the ridges out? No. Oh, I you just gotta keep I mean, I don't it. know what it is if there is one. Yeah, I'm just gonna smooth it out. Just keep going. Just gonna S smooth it. Just keep it. spreading it out. Mm-hmm. So does this, this doesn't dry flat, it dries like it is? Yes. Okay. And I have a couple of other pieces that I did some testing on where I didn't swipe like this. I dabbed, I stippled. Oh, could you see the stipplings? I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I, oh. I have them behind me. I haven't, it's, I haven't paid attention or haven't been back to check them out. So I'm only going to apply the adhesive where I'm going to place my foils. And since I've got a big Highland cow head here, there's no sense in adding foil behind it. Save the foil. Yes, save the foil. Save the foil, ride a cowboy. Isn't that how it goes? It is how it goes, how'd you know that? All right, does that look like I've got it all? I think so. Okay, so. Hard part about this is it does need to set and get tacky. Right now it still has like a white sheen to it. As it dries or sets, it will dry shiny, but it won't look white anymore. So it's gonna dry clear? shiny clear. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, let's set it aside and we'll be back in an hour and one to two hours, depending upon how thick you've applied it. Well, you're in luck. We did one an hour ago just to make sure yeah, we, we had one ready to go. Yeah, we did a while ago now. So you so, can see. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if you can get it at the right angle. Yeah, let's see, let's try this camera. Can you see what it looks like now? It, it should be shiny, I can see shiny. it's shiny. But the modified tube sock paint is showing through. Here, let's put them side by side. Whereas this is still looking white. This one's still wet, still looking white and it dried and it became more clear. Clear and shiny, tacky. If you touch it, it's tacky. All right, stand down, stunt double. Okay, so now I only, <laughs> I have this fun. Uh, I, wait, you have to hold it. Do you have uh, sticky stuff on your hands? Negatory. All right. I'm sticky free. I don't trust you. <laughs> I've got a little glue on my fingers and I don't want my glue to touch my foil, so mm. make sure you're your fingers foil. are free of glue. It is kind of like Elmer, so you can kind of like wipe it off. All right, I only have the one sheet of foil here, one 12 by 12 sheet, but I think that's all we're gonna need because of the big Highland cow head here in the middle. I'm gonna put a piece of foil up here and a piece of foil down below. So do you have to cut it in half now? Or can yes. you lay it and then rip it and just move it down? You can do that. You wanna, you wanna go for it? Does it rip that easily? I mean, according to the videos I've seen. Okay, if it doesn't work. No, then... no, 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 no. We got it. We got it. We got it. Well, no, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It will work, but because it's I right have across to. Across the center. Yes. Let's just, let's just. I'll feel better if we cut it. And I need. How much do I need? This is a little bit tricky. Yeah, I'll hold the hold bottom. It. So keep this down below, and I'm gonna need up to there. So I am going to. All right, that's it. She's cutting it. We're I don't in. even know if I've got enough. No, no measuring, nothing. No. I'm. I feel like I'm rubbing off on you. 
You're making me nervous. Just go all the way across. Megan, I don't... Okay, yeah. I'm going to go all the way across. All the way across. Can I tear it? Will it tear yes, it evenly? You, yeah, well, I don't know, but I just want to know if all we right. could tear it. You yep. can tear it. Torn, like Natalie and Brulia. All right, all right. let's do the top. Oh, look at you. You're excited. Yes. I'm going in. Okay, but, but make sure... Let's see, where do I want? I want about like that. All right. No, oh, but wait, uh, 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 uh. make sure you get all the way to the top. Okay. I got a little. Okay, right there. All right. Let's okay. lay it down. Lay it down. Okay. Ah! It's, Do not wrinkle it. It's wrinkling. Don't wrinkle it. It's wrinkled. Okay. Well. Now you want to use a little, like, Oop, brush. You cannot peel it back up. No. You cannot. Garrett, don't ruin down, this for me. Once it's down, it's down. I fixed All it. All right, this little spongy guy, we're gonna use this for this method, but it's not what this is for. This is actually to apply the final coat at the end to seal it. But for now, I'm gonna use this. Um, if you go get like a, a nail brush, you can use a nail brush to kind of brush this on. Like a nail brush? Mm-hmm. Like the little one I have in the bathroom. Yeah, perfect. We're going to use this little nail brush and you just brush it on. So we just lay it down and now you peel it back up. And it'll stick everywhere. Uh, yeah, so if it doesn't everywhere. stick, you can just like push it back down. Maybe peel from the top. It's fine. It's All doing right. its thing. This is so cool looking. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's get that back in there. That right, little right. piece right there. Well, it's going to be under his head. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's do the bottom. So it comes up to like here. Start down here, and then what? I what? I, if I need any extra, I'll use that little piece over there. Mm -hmm. Whoa! So delicate. Oh, and she's down. So you see how you can see the texture? Yeah, it kind of looks like a wood grain now. Well, I did it in a stripe because like, I wanted it to look like the fur in the direction fur. of the fur. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, I think everywhere there's adhesive now has foil. Do you want me to get the camera and really get up close here? It's right there. You'll see? All right. Yeah. Right, which way are we starting from up here again? Mm-hmm. I think that's under his head. You got to yeah, go slow just... and rub as you go. Here, let me put it back down. Well, it doesn't have sticky stuff there. 
That's where his head will be. Okay. Voila! Okay, okay. Look at that. Look at that. So exciting. There you go. Look at that. Looks like a, a cowhide right there, right on the sign. It does. A little wrinkly up top. Mm. Oh, they smooth right out. Oh, okay. You're yeah. able to get the stick down. So. Okay, so it was a little wrinkly, but he was able just to smooth it right down. Now, the only thing I do see is like right there. Should that be a little bit of here, sticky I got stuff? Here, right here. Well, it doesn't have any glue right there. Oh, I don't think he could do it yet. I just, he literally just put the adhesive on that. Well, let's see. Let's live and learn. All right, that's a tiny little piece. It worked. Well, this is gonna have a frame around it. Yeah. Now that we've applied our foils, now we're gonna seal them before I assemble the rest of the project. This is called Final Coat, and you just apply it with a, whoa, whoa. With a sponge. This is a little terry cloth sponge towel, and you're just wiping it on there. You can apply several coats. The first coat will just give it its final coat, and then let it dry in minutes. It gets hard, and you can apply multiple layers for however However Thicky. tough you want it. Yeah, I guess so, however tough you want it. So I'm going to... Pour it on the sponge. Just pour it on the sponge, yes. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa! I really poured it. Now the table's all tough. All right, I'm just going to wipe it on there. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, it's just wiping like a liquid on here. It look like I got it all? Yeah. Looks shiny everywhere. Everywhere? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I think that's all I need for now for coat number one. Does it say how long it dries? It said minutes. Minutes, okay. I think it feels good. Yeah, dry. Feels dry to me. Step five. Time to assemble. We're gonna use a little bit of the Starbond Thick to put everything together. We're gonna to work from the backer up and then from the bottom up. And we have everything with score marks, so it should be a fairly easy assembly. I put two coats to the final coat on here. It's nice and dry, it's good. So let's go ahead, let's do the rest of it. My favorite part of this guy is it comes with a little goatee. <laughs> I mean, tell me that's not a perfect goatee. <laughs> Look at yourself. You could tell, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Step five. <laughs> Time to assemble. <laughs> uh, ridiculous. That backer is looking good. Yes, yes. That is exactly what I wanted. Yes. These fo foils it pops. are- Yeah. It's vibrant. That's the problem we were having with other things. Like the sublimation just didn't look this vibrant. That looks good. Well, looks and good. you can just see like, cause it's a image, you can see like the hairs. It really does look yeah. like it's textured. Like a photo, yeah. Yes, like a photo, yeah, uh -huh. exactly. And the great thing about these foils is that you can use them on so many things. You can use these on wood. Let me read my list here so I don't miss anything. Wood, stone, ceramic, glass, 
fabric, leather, steel. You can put them on tumblers. You can get all of these foils at Artistic Painting Studio. We have a link down below that'll take you right there. It was so simple to do. Just add a little bit of this yeah, adhesive, yeah. let it dry, lay the foil down. And because it was so simple, I have so many ideas now. I wanna foil all kinds of things. Well, good, because that's the next thing I was getting ready oh. to say. I bought a little square variety pack here that comes with 30 different foils. Ooh. This is a whole group of them. I have some ideas planned. I'm gonna foil a bunch of different things. So keep an eye out on our social media, our stories, our TikToks. We're gonna show some oh, more. Oh, I got such a good idea. <laughs> I wanna do like a foil inlay using the laser. Oh, that's such a good idea. Well, wait, before you, I see you're about to thank our patrons, yeah. which is awesome. I just wanted to come back and say, this kit is also in our store. Garrett, you did an amazing job on that, making that Highland Cow 3D. So, I mean, I've seen Highland cows everywhere, but the trick was making him 3D. I had to and make him, I had to make our version of a Highland cow, and it just took a little while. It did, it did. It took a minute. It, it, yeah, I know you worked on it several times, so I think you did an amazing job. He looks awesome. This kit is available in our store. The SVG is available in our store. You can visit us at kngmakeit.com. Now. And big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. That is the best way to support this channel. And if you are a Made It or Master It tier patron, this SVG is going to be available to you now with as part of your subscription. And we are about out of time. I got to go do some more foiling. I'm going to yeah. foil a bunch of stuff. I have so many foil things that I want to foil. Mm -hmm. And we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it. And don't forget about Test Cut Tuesdays, where we test out a new file each week. Oh, live. By the, by the we horn. test it and paint it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bringing them back in. Whoa. Whoa. It's not my first rodeo. <laughs> We're making a 16 inch round backer. Oh, oh my God. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some quarter inch MDF. This is what we're gonna cut our new design out of. And the SGV. Oh my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some quarter inch MDF. This is what we're gonna cut our. What? Cold throw. Step three. <clears throat> Step three. <laughs> now we paint. One more time. 